the vendor is now making the dough for the Chinese version of tortillas. This is the Chinese version of tortillas. In China, tortillas are usually made fresh, but they're not sold on their own. They're typically filled with vegetables or meat and served as a breakfast option. I haven't been to other countries, but I would guess that many places around the world have something similar to tortillas. China has a history of over 4,000 years of using steaming as a cooking method. Steaming is also the most commonly used cooking technique in China. And baozi, steamed buns, are a representative food of this cooking style. Oh. Typically, a bowl of kanji is served with baozi for breakfast. It is a thick dish made from rice, millet, grains, or beans cooked with water. The ratio of water to ingredients and the cooking time determine the thickness of the kanji, which is the basic standard for judging its quality. Thank you. 
对，您做的那个是什么样的？豆沙的。豆沙的。啊、哦，我想要一个豆沙的，再要，还还还有啥的？椒盐麻酱。椒盐麻。You soup, flaky dough, is an essential ingredient for making baked goods like shaobing. It is a mixture of oil and flour. Spreading a layer of yuzu evenly on the dough allows it to overlap with the dough after multiple folds, creating a layered effect and a flaky texture in the finished product. The next delicious breakfast is wonton soup. Many foreigners who have lived in China have left comments on my video saying they really miss this bowl of wonton soup. The speed of the wonton wrapper's hands is incredible. I really didn't speed up the recording. I couldn't understand how she did it at all. If I were to describe it with a Chinese idiom, it would be, practice makes perfect.
In the past two decades, the variety of breakfast options in China has greatly expanded, with many foods from other countries making an appearance. However, these dishes have been modified to better suit Chinese tastes to some extent. This sushi shop has many people lining up every morning to buy meals. It's very popular. Sushi and onigiri, rice balls, are definitely Japanese foods and I never saw such dishes when I was a child. However, Chinese people generally don't like to eat raw meat, especially not for breakfast. So the sushi and onigiri from this stall are made with vegetables and cooked ingredients. Today's breakfast journey ends here. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.